If you follow your nose down 10th Street in Sacramento, it may lead you to the sweet aroma wafting out the doors at Osaka Ya Japanese Confectionery Shop. It's smooth, it's soft. If you see it, it's like pillowy. It's like a, the it's like a world's it's softest like vitamin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the delicacy everyone is lining up for is mochi, yeah, that one. a popular Japanese treat. It's a snack food, but it's something more like uh, you would sit down and drink tea. Osaka Ya is a family business. Linda Nakatani's father started it back in 1963. When he passed away in 2009, she took over the business and taught her sons David and Yoshio the recipe. So mochi is just rice flour, sugar, and water, and then it's all, it's all mixed up and steamed. The mochi recipe may sound simple, but the cooking process is far from easy. First, the ingredients must be steamed, and then it takes a crew of people to mix the mochi into the right consistency. It's all labor. We do have machines that makes it, but it doesn't look as good as if we do it by hand. Osaka Ya is one of the few places left in Northern California that still makes mochi by hand. I'm the only one in Sacramento, and they keep telling me don't stop because they can't get it anywhere else. Some historians estimate Japanese mochi dates back as far as 300 BC. It was a popular snack during tea ceremonies or New Year's celebrations. They represent as the dessert for the temples. Today, mochi comes in multiple colors and flavors like chocolate and peanut butter, but traditional mochi is often filled with sweet red beans or lima beans. So okay. you cup it and add a little more beans to that? Keep going. Okay, don't short the beans. It takes a lot of coordination and pain tolerance to deal with the hot mochi. You're not lying, that is hot there, isn't that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> mochi is the kind of food you eat with loved ones and requires a lot of love to make. We are like a family. <laughs> I mean, we joke around like a family, we yell at each other like a family. <laughs> Here at Osaka Ya, mochi is a family tradition, but the tasty treat is also a way to introduce Japanese culture to generations of customers in Sacramento. Now I see generations from when I was little serving them to now their kids, their grandkids. <laughs> so I pretty much know most of the customers that come in. From the Mochi Kitchen at Osaka Ya, I'm John Bartell.